Hey, how you doing? Good to see you again. Welcome back to Colbert Ranch. I have no idea what we're gonna do today, so stick around and be as surprised as I am when you watch this video. One thing I got to take care of is uh, I had this little windmill. I think my son bought it for me. Thank you, Christian. Thank you, Christian. Uh, it's kind of cheesy. It looked cool for about a week. Um, as you can see, it's all mangled up and it's anchored in there really good because the wind is just, I think you can see the flag back there. Wind just blows up here and blows. Anyways, I need to take that out of this uh, little area, clean it up. You're not gonna believe this. Since I like to work smarter and not harder, I hooked the old electric e-bike, the old rattan Quercus up to the gorilla cart, and I was getting some uh, rocks from uh, behind the house, put them inside the gorilla cart here, and that thing pulls it around like nothing. 350 pound man on the bike with the gorilla cart with rocks inside of it. Y'all gotta watch this. Here, I'll show you. Oh, God. <laughs> That's so much fun. That thing's so quiet and fast. Anyways, y'all ought to grab you one or two or ten of them. I don't make a dime off of them. They tried to get me to do a, like a little affiliate thing with them, but who's got time to make money when you're out here at Cold Beer Ranch playing in the dirt? So let me see if I can get this uh, windmill thing moved out of the way. Uh, we can make way for a better one. I want to get one of those big wooden ones that has like the, uh, you know, the spinning blade on the top and the tail of it looks like the uh, Texas flag. So anyways, let's get to work. I've been watching the channel a while you know this is the square tree because somebody put a square you know a, a woodworking tool or measurement tool it's an angle in the crook of this tree right here and over the years the tree just grew around it is that not awesome 
you can still see some of the uh, measurements on there. It's rusty, but it's stuck in the tree. You can't get it out. Don't want to get it out. It's cool as cool as all get out. Anyways, putting uh, putting rocks around trees. Hey, got all these rocks. Uh, maybe it'll make it look pretty. Of course, I got to run this by uh, the boss, and she's not here today. So uh, if she doesn't like it. I'll have to move. But, uh, took a few of them that were up front and pulled them back here. Anyways, one thing that we'll get done today. We'll see what else we can get into. Oh, hey. Uh, so somebody in one of the last videos, last couple of videos mentioned, John, you gonna give us a barn doe tour? I feel like I've been doing a lot of the barn doe, um, but maybe I can do a tour. It's not like there's a, a lot of bedrooms or anything to go in inside, but the exterior maybe, and kind of since it's been done, and you know, the garage door or, or the utility side of the barn doe is, is on, so. I guess I can do a tour. Uh, here's the here's the carport side with my truck under it. Recently just started parking under there. Didn't for a while, but now that it's pretty much done, we will. I think I mentioned something about the gutters being installed and all that. But, uh, it's pretty much done exterior in the spray foam interior. Just gotta start getting walls up. But I'm out of money. <laughs> so hopefully uh, Santa's good to me start buying some two befores and get those walls put up on the inside so let me flip you guys around and i'll give you a tour of the barn by the way we do plan on painting that to match that'll also be black at the bottom and gray all over with black trim it'll look just like that it's just too cold to be painting right now so it may not happen until next year anyways so here's the barn dope. this is the uh, street side so we painted the fence to kind of match it's black, stained black. Got the uh, beautiful American flag there. So this is kind of the backside, really. We don't really have a front. I mean, this is the side right here. So I don't know. There's no front door, I guess, if, 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 if that's what you're looking for. Because nobody uses the front door. There's no reason to have one here. So this is under the, under the port de or the carport area. It should hold about four cars. Painted that door black. Cool star emblem there. And then uh, this is really the back side, which is the porch side. Got the barbecue pit. We will roll that around. Got some rocking chairs out there. So, yeah. this tree right here that we cut down and you know we're going to chop off and do something with right now it's a great place to hang your hat pop open a beer sit on the back porch got a little light on there back door matches the front door or side door with the star but here's the uh here's the utility area this is a uh, an eight by eight uh, garage door that goes into like a utility room. It's going to be part of the barn. So I'll have to grade this, you know, so that you can get up in there a little better. We'll store stuff in there. But that's what it looks like. I'll back up. Here's our beautiful view. There's uh, eight oak trees over there that we cleared out underneath. And then you can just see off into the vast distance. So, boom. That's what it looks like. So I'll take y'all inside. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> Echo. It's weird how it echoes with the spray foam in here. I thought that wouldn't be the case. But this is it. And original, and the, you know, you guys have seen the bunker, but originally I was gonna put the water tanks in here and I don't think I'm gonna do that anymore. That's a 2,500 gallon tank. I want two of them. It takes up too much room. By the way, 
you know, the, there would be a wall separating that utility area where the garage door is all the way separated from the living quarters. So if you get the idea, that's an eight foot door. We would come in two feet this way and there'd be a wall all the way this way and two tanks in here. But when those tanks are full, they're like 20,000 pounds. So I don't know, probably gonna end up putting them on the outside of the building, building another type of smaller building to house those so that they don't get a lot of exposure to the sun and to the cold. But uh, really not a lot to see. That window there, that'll be where the sink is looking out. Back door, these two windows and that window is gonna be the living room area. And then all on this side over here will be three bedrooms. One of the bedrooms will house the bunker and you can go down into there. And that's pretty much it. But some of you guys were asking for a tour, so just not a lot to tour right now. I know you can see the plumbing, master bathroom over there. Making you dizzy. Guest bathroom right over here. And then of course there's plumbing over here under the sink area. So where these chairs and everything are right now, that's kind of the living room area from where I'm standing that way. I don't know. I think it's 20 by 18 or something like that of an area. So the wall is right here on the bathroom and it goes all this way. Anyways, made y'all dizzy probably. Tour the Barndo, a little bit of stuff that we did around uh, the ranch and uh, appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I've been gaining a lot of subscribers lately uh, and I appreciate y'all. So uh, if you have time to, you know, take some time out of your day, I think it's all of about 0 .003 seconds to click that button there, it's helpful. Thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all on the next one. Oh, next one. Off-grid outhouse. I'm looking at it over here. Off-grid outhouse. Got a video coming for that. So stay tuned for that. Full solar power, battery power, lights, pumps, everything's going to be run off solar. So stay tuned. We'll see y'all on the next one.